Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Domo. Domo is what many organizations are using Generative AI for in the real world. One of the main tasks which is heavily being used by many organizations when it comes to Generative AI is to use it for reporting and also in a lot of dashboarding, especially when it comes to finance, sales and marketing. So if you are currently doing your BI analytics and that sort of stuff through Tableau and your own data engineering pipelines, then maybe give this tool Domo a try because this makes it so easy, professional and also quite intuitive to use AI and do the dashboarding. Domo is primarily a platform for finance team that integrates data from diverse sources into dashboards for informed decision making. Features include data synchronization, financial reporting, and real-time analytics, and that is suitable for enterprise-level businesses. Domo provides a large suite of enterprise-grade tools that help organizations unlo unlock business values from their data. The Domo platform includes a world-class data warehouse, robust data pipeline functionality, and an industry-leading visualization engine, all while ensuring data is well-governed and secure. Domo also has got a developer's portal that gives customers and partners access to all the tools and documentation needed to build, manage and connect to Domo. Now, as far as developer resources are concerned, there is a lot of stuff there. So you can have fully uh, controlled environment such as you can have your trial instance, you can have your APIs for programmatically leveraging Domo capabilities, you can even leverage SDKs. And the officially supported libraries include Java and Python that wrap Domo APIs to provide the fastest path for developing on the Domo platform. You also have Domo CLI, which is a command line interface tool that provides useful functions for data management in Domo. Domo even offers some of the Jupyter notebooks or the workspaces with Python and R kernels and it is also got one stop shop for all help resources related to Domo AI products and there is a lot more on their website. All you need to do is to sign up with your corporate account and then you can start with 300 credits. Domo's architecture is quite simple too. If you go to their website you will also stumble upon this experience platform which includes at the top app creation tools which I just described and then it is low code, pro code, business automation. It also has some BI dashboarding as you can see here if you hover and then dashboards which includes data storytelling, collaboration, visualization, interactivity and customization and then you can drill down more into it. For reporting, you can get the reporting through self server, self service analytics or alerts and a lot of other things. When it comes to AI data science, you can have AI model management. A service layer, Jupyter integration, modeling ops, and a lot of other things. In the data integration side of things, you can have your own ETL tools, data caching, data flows, and a lot of connectors, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, for governance and security, you can have your own compliance um, stuff, your certified data set, and also your own governance toolkit. So, the list is quite huge. Now, once you log into Domo, you'll be presented with a screen like this. Let me try to make it slightly bigger. Cool. I'm just going to cancel it. Now, in order to, uh, so once uh, the first time you would log in, you'll be presented with this screen. You can start with Domo's video, which is just a getting started, or you can start simple. You can simply upload a spreadsheet and visualize it, which I'm going to do shortly, or you can even connect to live data. And if you want to see which connectors are available, I will also quickly show you shortly or you can create a blank card. Maybe I'll make it slightly smaller so that there you go. So or you can create your own custom dashboard. Now, if you want to um, just look around as what sort of dashboard you can create. This is a marketing dashboard and this is a sales dashboard. So let me open the marketing one and also the sales one in separate tabs and then I will show you. And on the bottom side, you can see that these are the pre-built content by application. So if you are looking for Salesforce, you can simply click it and deploy it. Let me also open it on the side. And then Jira, Google Analytics and a lot of other stuff. The list goes on and on and on. 
and these are a lot of connectors there, demo card and all the tutorials which you can go through. As I said, it's a whole suite of things which is very hard to cover in one introductory video. So I might create another one for each topic, but this is just to give you a taste of this awesome tool. Okay, now let's go to this marketing one. Now, if you look at it in this marketing one, um, you can also continue with the demo or you can just simply add it from here. So I'm just going to click here and here you can see that you can add the content in the marketing uh, because the marketing related or you can resize both it. You can tell your data story with ease. And this is the, there you go. So these many marketing leads, inquiries, you can edit it. And there is a lot of stuff. And this is all sample data, by the way. And then this is all marketing related stuff. And you can see that these are all the sources where the leads are coming from and all that stuff. How cool is that? Now let's look at the sales sample data. There you go. Uh, let me click there. So you can see that on the top there's the executive summary with all the colorful dials and knobs. Then there is a graphs by, for global sales by team. Then there is a pipeline yield here with very, very uh, nicely built graph and you hover over it and you get drilled down further into it. So as you hover, for example, here on the right hand side, you can see that it is saying it's a BOQ pipe much from data source and it also I think it is giving you that commit number from your pipeline awesome stuff how cool is that and then look at this graph very cool awesome it's all interactive and it is all built by AI there you go so this is all your forecasting quarterly sales forecast with all the numbers and stuff and obviously you can drill down further by just clicking on the stuff there you go. So these are the top opportunities and you can see it is a 360 degree view of everything you could imagine related to your sales portal. And this is all done by AI. How cool is that? Awesome stuff. Now coming back here, if you want to browse a connector, let me also click here to see what connectors are available. So these are the connectors. So you can connect to AWS S3 bucket or Google BigQuery, JSON. Uh, Amazon Redshift, which is a data warehouse from AWS, Amazon Athena, which lets you talk to AWS S3 bucket data in the relational format, and Azure Cloud Splunk, which is a um, monitoring system, and a lot of other things too. How cool is that? And for starting simple upload and visualize a spreadsheet, you can uh, up click on upload file, and then you can go from there. Let me upload a simple file. So once you click on that upload file, it will take you here. You can either browse your file from your local system or you can even just upload it from Google Drive, Dropbox, a lot of other stuff. So let me upload it from my local system, a sample Microsoft Excel sheet. This is my sample sheet as you can see here. And then click on next. I'll just name it data set sample, that is fine. And then domo is fine, where else I can, no domo is fine. And then save and run. So you can see that it is now connecting, importing, storing, preparing and complete. Start visualizing. How simple is that? There you go. And if I scroll down, you can see a lot of, you know, I can go from uh, general legend and you can create charting lot of other stuff here I can start visualizing by you know choosing a chart type and then once I uh, select the chart type I could select column and customize chart and you know there's a bar chart or uh, you can see that you can um, go with once you have selected the bar chart or group chart you can drill down further and you can even you know from the left hand side you can drag and drop stuff here and you can see that it is drawing something at the bottom of it and then you can play around with it. You can go back to the data from the upper tab and you will see all of your data which is present here. And sky is the limit here and the best thing is if you look at the top left, I still have 300 free credits. I haven't used any. So you can play around as much as you like and then if you like it, you can simply go ahead and buy it. Amazing stuff guys. I really am impressed by this tool. I will drop the link to it in video description. Try it out and let me know how you go. Thanks for watching.